Brick Maniacs. It is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Hey, yeah. Cody. Wow, you're back. Yeah, you're back. Uh, today on Brickmania TV, uh, Cody is showing off his latest and greatest... Brickmania model. Model. Thanks. That's my line. Uh, what do we have here, Cody? Uh, we have the British Challenger 2 tank. Ooh. It's uh, the most, most-ish modern... <laughs> most-ish British modern. Most-ish modern British Camry tank. Camry Snickers. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we got here. Cool. So uh, this, a little bit of history, maybe? This was uh, developed in 1998. It uh, was a successor to the Challenger 1, believe it or not. Oh, what a thought. Challenger 2. Yep. Next on the line, it um, has a 120 millimeter cannon in it. They've also tested out the same gun that's in the Leopard 2, which we also produced a month ago. Ooh. A month -ish ago. And there we go. Um, so this. Uh, Operation uh, service in Bosnia and also in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Yes. Which obviously was a tan version, um, like the Abrams would have been colored there, working with the Abrams in, in Iraq. Um, so, this is kind of a modern camouflage uh, scheme that I was going for, just based on what popular pictures I saw. Cool. Uh, black and dark gray. Obviously, it would be more of an army green color. Yeah. More like that tanker helmet color. I like that uh, camouflage, simulated camouflage on the exhaust in the back, or the, uh, the vents. The vents. Cool. That's cool. Real cool. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's got a 12 cylinder diesel engine, 120 millimeter, millimeter gun, like I mentioned. Uh, it's got MBC protection. MBC Chabu. protection? Mm -hmm. Explain. Nuclear biological chemical. Chemical? Chemical. Okay. I can't talk to it. Wow. NBC protection. I think it's because I got my retainer taken out. Now retainer. I don't know how to talk in Cody is retainer. <laughs> I used to have a retainer. I used to have a retainer. Um, other armaments include two 7.62 millimeter machine guns, one coaxially mounted right next to the main gun here, and with a sweet printed part. Yeah, check out that. raised printing on there. It's like and it's like they, they managed to get a little bit of an angle at it on that piece, too. So which coming is coming out a little bit more straight from that slope piece. Really, really cool. Kind of like how we do the cigar face, but it's a gun instead of a cigar. You don't put cigars on tanks. <laughs> you could put a cigar into the gun. You can. Put a little hole in there, have smoke Woo! coming out. Um, and also on top here is a A37. Oh, is that right? A37. You can do it. M37? A2? Some British machine gun, 7.62 millimeter machine gun. You have a stand in here with the M60? Yep, I have a stand in there because Brick Arms doesn't make that machine gun. Um, so we got the M60 in there as a replacement because they look really similar. Yeah. 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 So I was mentioning earlier about the engine. Yes. So I actually built an engine into this tank. Uh oh, show it's, it off. It's a removable engine. Check this out. And it's a kind of a cool friends color. <laughs> Medium blue, maybe blue. So you can actually fit a crew of four in the tank. Um, you can fit a guy here in the basket if you so choose. Um, there's nothing really to see in there, but he fits. He fits. Fits with a helmet. Um, you can fit the commander, and then in this hatch you can fit the loader, and he can man that machine gun there. Um, it only comes with one figure, but you can fit four. I'll let Landon talk about that a little bit sure. later on. And you can also pop these off. And you can fit a driver in there. If you stick the driver in there and then put these back on mm, this way. I think that one goes there. No, I bet it goes this way. <gasps> there we go. You got it. So in the better. hatch, just remove the hatch entirely. Um, take the engine out. So, a little, little involved process, but... Ooh. I didn't actually know you could do this. Didn't I show you that to you? I don't think so. 
Can you show me your building? I never saw it finished. Oh, oh. That piece comes off too, and the engine pops right out. Whoa! No, you did show me that. I remember now. <laughs> All that blue in there. So yeah, got some little fans and some little ice cream back. cones. Some what ice are those? Cream cones, flat silver. This is a great. This piece. is the best use of a friend set ever. Uh, I, yeah. Just turning it into the I engine just... of your tank. That is awesome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can remove that engine if you want. Some added playability features. Just one of my most playable tanks, anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, not, they can't always be as playable, but mostly that's just if I get the wheel spacing correct. Right. Just with studs up, then I can do whatever I want in the interior. But for me, wheel spacing is what drives a lot of my designs. Yes. <laughs> Making sure you get the wheel spacing correct. That's one of the, f the first areas that you start on, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I start wheels and go up. Cool. So that's where that comes into play. Um, um, what else? I, I, uh, as you can see here, I, I removed one of the tires from the gun barrel. <laughs> Having three on there fits the blueprints better, but if it looks a little too clunky to you, yeah, just pull the wheel off if you want. That's part of the bore evacuator that I put on the, on the tank barrel. There we go. It fits the camouflage. and. It, Clean looking, nice. I guess. So. <laughs> I'm really uh, excited to see the addition of the, some fire suppression systems. Oh yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> so there's the classic. Whenever you get like a firefighter set from Lego or something like yep. that, they always get the fire extinguisher. Always. Always. <laughs> so there's plenty of those pieces available naturally. So we figured we'd go one step further and put a sticker wrapped around on there. So it is part of the uh, fire suppression yeah. system that they have on the tank, and they are just fire extinguisher canisters that you can add into there. Here we were, we were going through a bunch of just photographs, source photographs, and we noticed that, that they almost always have these bright red fire extinguisher extinguishers. Mm -hmm. I think when they're in combat, they have these like covering yeah, sleeves. They have a little camouflage sleeve they can put over there. Actually, they have camouflage sleeve you can put over the entire tank. It looks a lot like a like a ghillie suit for a tank. <laughs> it does totally. <laughs> which which if we could build that, that'd be really cool. Maybe. Someday. Maybe in the future we'll do a fabric add-on <laughs> for your Challenger too. Um, yeah, it's got that. I was just going to say something else. Oh, so it can, it can create its own smoke screen with its engine. It can inject diesel fuel into the exhaust and create a huge billowing Dang. smoke screen coming out the back. Um, so you waste a little fuel in doing so, but you also have um, smoke dischargers here mounted on the turret. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got to really say about cool. the tank. Sticker pack, um, Sticker pack some numbers, well, yeah, obviously so, the fire extinguishers. So we're trying to come up with a, a good numbering system, because that's always difficult. I think in the pack you get mostly 18, and that's just in reference to 2018. That's the year that, that we're making this kit. Uh, 42 was something Slam brought to me, and uh, I just left it on there, because that's actually my dad's football number. Nice. He played college football, number 42. That's pretty that's awesome. awesome personal shout out. <laughs> um, Cody the Tank. Yeah. Tank O'Cell. Tank O'Cell. Talk about your figure. Yeah, cool. So uh, we, uh, we have a standalone figure as well. Uh, there is, this kit comes with one fig figure, but we are selling the minifigure as a standalone. Mm -hmm. um, so that's cool. Which is yeah. awesome because you can actually fit yeah. four guys in And I, I kept uh, the loadout incredibly simple. It's just this, it's just, uh, this jacket and this British camouflage. Um, I believe it's DMP, I believe. That's, um, a little, that's a little old school, right? Well, it, a little bit, but you still definitely see it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, people all, all over the place are using it. So. It's really popular. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a great looking camouflage. Um, definite, like a, you can see that lineage going all the way back to based off of World War II camouflages that the British were using at the time, oh, yeah. some of the para paratroopers. Um, so yeah, this is just a really simple uh, uniform, just the um, jacket and trousers in that camouflage pattern. Um, some goggles that I saw some of the tankers were wearing, tinted yellow there, um, which is kind of cool because they also had, uh, I saw similar goggles from during World War II, um, that same yellow tint to them, so that was kind of cool to see that pop back up again yeah. Uh, yeah, in, the, in a modern era. Tinted uh, gogs. Tinted gogs. Uh, British flag on the side uh, of the arm, which is cool. And there's a little hood on the back. Um, yeah, so if you, if you wanted to get this guy and maybe use some of these pieces to create your own um, soldier, um, this guy's set up to be a tanker, obviously, with this minifig cat headgear. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Easily interchangeable. Yeah, easily interchangeable. So, cool figure, um, cool tank. Cool figure, cool tank. Yeah. Oh, so oh. we're doing something new now. Dan just whispered to Dan, us to remind Dan us. <laughs> Dan's standing like right behind the camera, like a few feet. We're actually, if no one knows where we're located, we're right behind Dan's desk. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan just sits there and shakes his head for half the episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wrong. Wrong. Anyways, so we're doing something new. Uh, kit numero uno. Translation, kit number one <laughs> is going up online or on eBay for auction. If you haven't noticed already, it's up. There's one more day as of this video being posted. So till till Sunday, yeah. you have uh, a signed box, signed certificate. Uh, number one. Kit, kit number, number one. one. Only one that's going to come signed. Yep, it's the only signed one. Only signed copy. That's super cool. So check caution. that out. Um, we'll have a link in the description. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you haven't heard, uh, get your bids up. Sweet. <laughs> get your bids up right now. <laughs> um, with that, I think that's the episode. Uh, for more information on this kit, uh, check out brickmania.com. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. You can ring the bell. <laughs> uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Is that all? Is that all? Sure. Or do you want to ring the bell? No. I said ring the bell. Okay. Gosh. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>